Hello. So in this video, we're going to talk about uh, talk more about the dissolving metal reduction of alkynes. Um, in a previous video, I introduced this reaction uh, uh, and having sodium and ammonia or, or lithium in an amine react with uh, an alkyne. And, uh, and if the alkyne was internal, you got the trans alkene as a product. So uh, this here is the sodium and ammonia version. Uh, but you might also see, let's see, instead of sodium, lithium, and instead of uh, ammonia, uh, a primary amine like ethyl amine. Uh, there needs to be some hydrogens on this amine because it's actually the amine that's going to be the source of the hydrogen atoms that are added to, to make the alkene. Right. So now let's talk about the mechanism of the dissolving metal reduction. Uh, this mechanism is going to look a lot different than uh, other mechanisms because it's going to involve some single electron transfer steps, some radical kinds of things. Radicals are uh, species that have unpaired electrons. And we're going to devote a whole series of videos later on the, on the, the, to the chemistry of radicals. And so there's going to be a little bit here that you might look at and say, wait, 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 what? Bear with me. So sodium in this case is our reducing agent and sodium has uh, a single electron in its valence shell. Remember in an earlier video, I said that this is sodium metal, not sodium cations. And if you remember from general chemistry, sodium actually would rather not have that electron. It would rather be sodium plus. And so in a lot of the chemical behavior of sodium in general chemistry involves donating that electron to something to make an ionic compound. A very similar thing is going to happen here. Uh, sodium is going to donate that electron to the alkyne uh, through a single electron transfer. And you're going to get something that looks like this. Uh, and so bear with me for the uh, for the moment. This is a radical anion. Um, when that electron goes into the to the alkyne, when that extra electron goes into the alkyne, uh, the alkyne doesn't actually have room for it until unless one of the pi bonds breaks. So one of those pi bonds is going to break uh, and form the lone pair on one of the carbon atoms. And then that extra electron is going to be hanging out as an unpaired electron on the other carbon. Now, uh-oh. Why does that look, that look different? does not want me to, to show this to you in the other stereo isomer. So let me just really quickly rearrange some things here for a moment. will take a moment. There we go. Uh, like other things that happen to, to alkynes, this radical anion can form either from a trans stereochemistry or a cis stereochemistry. Uh, if it forms from a cis stereochemistry, the, the anion and the radical facing the same direction are going to repel each other. Electrons repel each other. Uh, so in fact, the... Uh, the, I got rid of my orbitals there. The trans the trans radical anion is more stable. I don't. It's more stable because these things can, can would repel each other if they're near each other. So this is this is the trickiest part. Once, oops, 
once the radical anion forms. Then, you know, we have this uh, carbon carbanion. It's really basic. And even though we don't normally think about ammonia being an acid, it's going to be an acid here and donate a proton to the radical anion. And so then we're going to get, uh, we're going to get this radical with its unpaired electron. And then another sodium atom is going to donate another electron to make an anion. And then that anion is going to pick up another proton from another molecule of ammonia. I'm not giving myself here a lot of room. Here's my alkyne, alkene. So I'll go back through here now and add the arrows to these things because I know I just went through that pretty quickly. So again, uh, after the single electron transfer to form the radical anion, the, ra the trans radical anion is formed uh, preferentially because it's more stable. The lone pair and the anion picks up an extra proton. Then we have this radical, which uh, picks up, which then reacts with another atom of sodium metal. This, there we go. Uh, pick up another extra electron to form an anion. And now that anion uh, is ready to... Draw, there we go. Pick up another proton from another molecule of ammonia. So, again, a little bit different kind of reaction, but because it follows a different reaction mechanism, that's how we can get a different stereochemical outcome. In the last video in this series on, on alkyne reduction, I'm going to go over a couple of examples where we have to figure out what kind of reagents to use to achieve a particular outcome. And I'm going to finish that video off with a couple of recent uh, developments in alkyne reduction because there are some other newer ways uh, to do it besides these two. Uh, so stay tuned and thanks for watching.